I am turning 54 soon. Um, and like most of us, if we just look at today's medicine, someone my age has much fewer days ahead than behind them. And these days ahead do not look very bright for someone in their 50s, and certainly for someone in their 60s, 70s, and 80s. And the longer I live, and the more research that I see, and the results that are coming out from not just my group of 20 scientists at Harvard, but around the world, including here in the UAE, tells us that this change in medicine uh, is coming. It's really no longer an if, it's really a question of when. Uh, we were visiting G42 and the Emirati Genome Project folks today and yesterday. And what I know is that through the development of genomic technology, which the UAE is a, very advanced in, I would say probably the leading country in the world in genetics, but also advancements in artificial intelligence and the ability to read the structures of the cell in atomic detail, that these combined technologies will advance medicine so fast that none of us in this room can imagine what life will be like in the near future. I'm also here to tell you that there's been a really remarkable discovery uh, made by one of my students, actually, Wan Cheng Lu. He's now uh, 30 years old, and when he was about 27, he made what I think is one of the most remarkable discoveries uh, of a lifetime. What he discovered, as I'll tell you today, is that there is a backup copy of youth in every cell in our bodies. What does this mean for us? It means that if you see somebody who's old and frail and sick, you should not think of them as old. You should look at them as though they have a, a corrupted software that needs to be reinstalled. And in my lab, we are learning now how to do that. In rodents, in mice, we do this. We are now learning to do this in non-human primates, monkeys. And the next step, in the next two years, if all goes well, we will treat our first patient for age reversal and cure an incurable disease. In this case, it will be blindness. These are things that we didn't even imagine could be possible just five years ago.